Dame i gospodo, dobrodošli na poslednji četvrti segment današnje RSNO konferencije u kome ćemo čuti tri tehničke prezentacije. Prvo ćemo čuti Vazima Volovika iz kompanije Yandex Infrastructure, koji će nam predstaviti njihov alat otvorenog koda za automatizaciju konfigurisanja mrežnih uređaja. Molim se jedan najemni aplauz za gospodina Volovika. Mr. Volovik, you have the floor for the next 20 minutes. Do you need anything? Do you need a clicker? Or... And you need the microphone. Just a second. Just a second. They went too far. They knew it too much. They provided him with the mic. Just a second. Here you go. You have 20 minutes. Fire at will. Thank you so much. So, um, Dobar dan. Zovem se Vadim Volovik. Ja, znači, tehnički project manager radim u Yandexu. Pre toga ja sam radio u MTS-u, u ruskom MTS-u. I, znači, znam dosta o mreži. Ja sam bio mrežni inženjer i imam a, više od 10 godina iskustva. A, I danas ja ću da vam raskažem o našem open source rješenji. I moram da kažem što ja mogu da pričam srpski, ali a, o IT bolje da ide na engleskom. So, that means that my presentation will be in uh, English and uh, after that you can ask me about everything in Serbian. So what is it Yandex? Yandex is a um, huge service provider in Russia and uh, we provide a lot of services such as taxi, such as food delivery and uh, a lot of it, email, disk, Yandex cloud, etc. That's why we have distributed network infrastructure and uh, we have f five data centers in Russia and European Union. So, uh, okay, European Union, okay. And um, that means that we have thousands of network elements and uh, we have uh, hundreds of thousands of servers and we need to uh, provide connectivity for our services and um, the main how to say it, the main goal of our uh, network uh, team is uh, to manage this uh, huge amount of devices. And um, also we have more than one terabit per second uh, traffic in our data centers. And uh, we have complex and modern network design, which uh, as you can see is a clause, is Dragonfly, and uh, uh, that's why we need to be uh, that's why we need to be ready for uh, uh, for configuration our network elements, our network as soon as possible to provide connectivity, to pro to reconfigure our network, to install new software, new install new devices, and install new services, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, that's why we use a lot of network automation, and uh, we started our automation way more than uh, two years ago and you can see this uh, picture on this picture you can see a uh, number of network elements and uh, we configured more than three thousand three hundred thousands of devices automatically per uh, these two years and uh, you can calculate how many it is per day it is about 350 network elements per day and uh, I think it's really impressive. And you can see the huge peak uh, near 70,000 uh, network elements. That's the um, week when we decided to change all passwords on our network. So we have a lot of experience of it. And um, that's why we decided to share our experience uh, with the network society. And uh, we started our open source way and um, I can share our high level architecture and of course it is about network and on the top it is our users, our network uh, engineers and uh, people who manage servers and they use CLI user so whole uh, so they use web interfaces, they use our CLI solutions on uh, Terraform so Terraform it is about infrastructure as a code and um, and also we have network inventory. Uh, we use an, at Yandex uh, Rectable solutions, and uh, it 
also open source, but okay, never mind. And uh, automation, we have automation layer, uh, and we present we, we presented it in uh, open source and uh, open source solution calls Anet, Anet, and um, it is about so Anet is network configuration manager, and uh, if you want to automate your network, of course you need um, some generators for uh, your network. And uh, the second component, the third component, is uh, executors. So we need to read and write data from and to network elements. And uh, we open sourced uh, GNET CLI solution. Uh, this is our open source project. And uh, you can operate with uh, network elements using CLI, using, as, uh, using this solution as a Golang library and also as gRPC service. And um, of course monitoring so in this stack you, you can see that only automation and executors is our open source project but uh, it is enough for uh, realization network provisioning uh, at your network and i want to show you how you can do it and um, uh, so how to demonstrate it so we prepared demonstration stand for uh, for you, for Society of Network Engineers. And the uh, goal of this demo is to demonstrate the main stages of network automation and also to show how to install it and to and you can use necessary software for network automation. And uh, we prepared a lot of documentation for it. And you can easily go to GitHub, find our uh, repository and read the instructions and try our solution. So what is it? Uh, our stand. St our stand is a Docker Compose file where we placed Netbox as network inventory and uh, Anet as network configuration manager, uh, Genet CLI as a network configuration executor, and of course, devices. Uh, it is network emulation, so we use Dynamips, we use uh, FRR routers, and also we support Arista in, uh, in our stand. Of course, we uh, support in our solution multi-vendors such as Huawei, Juniper, Cisco, and etc. But it is hard to run this um, uh, software in Docker files. So that means so we have a restrict some restrictions in it. And uh, I want to say uh, something about uh, Anet and uh, how it, how the network provisioning is going. So the main stage you can see on slide. And uh, first of all, you need inventory system. And uh, in our case, it is Netbox. And um, you see on this slide the picture from Netbox. And uh, uh, whole our laboratories has prepared Netbox solutions uh, with the routers, with the connections, with the IP addresses. Um, so. Uh, actually, if you don't know what is it, Netbox, I recommend to you uh, install it in your network and try to uh, try to start your automation away from from the network inventory. So, the next step, we need to translate what we have in uh, network inventory to generators to uh, Annet generators, and that's why so we have um, special adapters for Netbox in uh, our open source solution and um, what is it generator generator is python class uh, which generates network configuration and uh, you can see on the slide the main example of, of it with the uh, cisco and uh, you can see two main functions acl and run uh, functions acl you uh, acl it is acl describes the definition of the uh, so the scope of the generator. So that means that only MTU can, can be changed by this uh, generator and uh, run Cisco. That means that we want to generate configuration for Cisco devices. And as a result, you can see on uh, this slide and uh, you see that we uh, generate some piece of uh, some piece of configuration and um, this is a real example from our lab 00 when you can uh, go and uh, configure MTU and descriptions and uh, okay we have 
desired configuration. What next? Next is difference, and we need to calculate difference between what we want to um, roll out on network or and what we have in a real network. So this is a difference between real conditional of network element and uh, our generator. And as you can see, this is um, Unix style diff, which we need to translate into Cisco style commands, and uh, we call it patch. The patch should so the the definition of patch. This is a, a configuration of what we need to implement to get desired state of our network element. And um, okay, next step is deployment. So we uh, take this patch and send it to our executor and after that executor committed to network so that 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 how um network provisioning works in general and um about our lab scenarios so what we have we have basic cisco configuration when you can where you can uh, just try um some basic things like uh, mtu and uh, descriptions um, also, you can try it, try some BGP configuration with the uh, FRR routers. And um, if you want something more, you can go and try DC scenario with the Cisco. We prepared a data center pod, uh, contains five uh, elements with the spines and tors. And um, we support it with the uh, Cisco, with the uh, FRR. And the um, multi vendor, you can try uh, FRR, Cisco, and Arista together. And also, it is a data center uh, example. So, how to try it? Um, maybe you saw our demonstration stand. You can go and uh, ask us about it. And we can tell about it in uh, three languages Russian, English, and uh, Serbian. And uh, so, if not, you can just. Um, go to our github repository and uh, try to uh, how to say try it at home try it on a village cottage weekend it's uh, at um, at home uh, I, I said it let you in office in office whatever you want in a cafe etc so maybe you have some questions for me Why do with the microphone? Može i na srpskom. Može i na srpskom, da, slobodno. Može pitanja i na srpskom. Evo ja da vas pitam, jer vam treba mikrofon. Ima li pitanja? Nema, ja bih rekao. Hop! Evo jedno. Can you just keep your arm up in the air? And wave him like you just don't care. Ok, Mike is coming. <laughs> Uh, in previous year, you uh, described uh, this solution uh, when it started to grow. And uh, currently, this is, I think, the next release of this uh, project. So one of the questions, uh, what are the, uh, how to say, how you measure benefits of this, uh, what changed from the previous year to this year, and what are the greatest, uh, from the business point of view, results of uh, these projects? Thank okay. you. Thank you for your question. So last year, I think it uh, wasn't in open source and uh, it still was our proprietary solution. And uh, for this year, for last year, we prepared it uh, totally for open source and uh, prepare it for us. We made, as I said, Docker Compose um, file and you can, so Docker Compose laboratory and you can easy to install it in uh, your equipment and try it in, um, real network in your environment and we are interested in it because we want to share and we want to enhance our solution as as much as we can. Just use the mic. I, I, I don't have the the mic. question Sorry. was about <laughs> okay. metrics. So I can show you the main the main uh, metrics. Um, I think it is our metrics, um, our main metric, how many uh, how many device was configured automatically, and this is full automation. And we do not touch our uh, devices by hand, so we try to do it. Of course, we have uh, 
uh, office infrastructure, of course, well, not, we have borders and uh, some, how to say, some very important devices, but if you're talking about offices, uh, if you're talking about access points, if you're talking about uh, spine stores and uh, all these, uh, you know, huge scale uh, networks, so of course we want to automate it and uh, we try to do it and you can see, so, so this is our main metric. And uh, also we have other metric inside Yandex. We have, uh, for instance, we install, so how many network elements we installed, installed automatically. We have special process, we organize it inside Yandex and we install uh, whole devices automatically without, uh, so, as, so, automatically. Okay, thank you. Uh, I would like just one more round of applause for Vazim. Thank you very much.